So very similar to a uh, direct proportion, um, when you come to inverse proportion, they will tell you the variable that are inversely related. So again, you will do the setup. So you can do the setup according to a multiplication or you can have it as a formula in terms of X, uh, sorry, uh, Y in terms of X. So either way, so you can choose to divide over. Okay, so whichever setup it is all right for you. So it will be the same situation. They will always give you a set of values to find K. Okay, so, so some of you might feel that, okay, so if I'm given this right, if I continue with the setup, this is a six, and then this is a three. It's actually easier to find, for you to find K. So once you have K, remember you either return it back here or you return it here. It doesn't matter as you wish. Okay, so if you return the basic one, it will be X times Y equal to 18, or it will be Y equal to 18 over X. So you decide the setup that you prefer. It can be this or it can be this. So subsequently, right, we will use um, uh, this main equation to answer the subsequent question. So the subsequent question, we are interested to find the value of y when x is nine. So you just put it into the equation. So same thing. So if you are interested in the value of X, when Y is 4.5, so you can choose which one you want to put it into. So in this situation, maybe you want to put it here. So you get a 4.5 X equal to 18, and then you divide over. So it's very similar to a uh, direct proportion, except that now the setup is different, but mainly it's still algebra. But in some situation, it might involve a bit of cross multiplication because no matter what, you have a fraction involved. So there may be some amount of cross multiplication. <laughs> 